Hello everybody and welcome to my Bandos Melee Guide. Now this is a revamped version of my Mage Guide, but since Mage does not work as well uh, at Bandos anymore because of the uh, Bloodfire uh, nerf and the Soul Split nerf, it, it doesn't really work very well anymore. But anyways, uh, we're going to, obviously it's in the God Wars Dungeon, and what you absolutely need, this is bare minimum, 60 agility or strength to actually get in the, uh, in the God Wars Dungeon, and then 70 plus melee stats, you need 70 strength just to get into the Bandos, uh, Bandos room there and then at bare minimum you need troll romance in order to get there well suggested stats i'd suggest uh 80 plus melee stats uh at least chaotic weapons and uh edger's ruse or love story for an actual teleport to trollheim for profits you got the bandos armor and the hilt uh this includes bandos chest plate bandos legs bandos helm boots gloves all that good stuff and then the, he does drop a lot of noted items and alcables a lot of rune armor and then things like snapdragons all that good stuff um, and uh, a lot of alkables and uh, coins as well and you can get over 150k melee XP per hour which you know it's it's not the greatest but you know when you're, you're there two or three hours it's it's good EXP you're gonna come back with four or five hundred K XP in that hour After this, I do have a lower level setup, if you were wondering, and uh, so just stay tuned for that. But anyways, feel free to copy down the action bar I have below here, and then resume when you want the uh, inventory and the gear setup. But anyways, um, for your inventory, this is for the high level setup. I'd uh, I'd recommend three, uh, three or four overload. Uh, sets or else extreme sets if you don't have overloads uh just bring one or two super stores you really won't need them the only thing you'll need them for is your unicorn to uh to make a new one but anyways then um i'd recommend bringing elk runes because there are a lot of rune items that he does drop bone crusher you you really need this if you have the demon horn necklace uh it makes everything a lot easier you get a whole bunch of prayer points from that you don't even need to restore prayer all right, and for the high-level setup, I would highly recommend having at least a main hand Drygor. You can see here I have a main hand Drygor and an offhand Chaotic, which works very well. I don't, I don't have any problems. But anyways, dual Drygors is obviously better, or else you can use a Chaotic Maul or dual Chaotics, whatever you want. All right, and then uh, Bandos top and bottom. I like using the power armor for that extra DPS. I bring a Gano Visor for melee defense, you can wear a Varex Helm for the prayer, you can wear a Bandos Helm for a little extra DPS, whatever. Vampirism Aura, because you don't need Penance uh, if you have the Demon Horn Necklace with the Bone Crusher, which is the next thing on my list. Uh, bring a Demon Horn Necklace if you do have it, if not, then bring a Fury. Alright, and the Bone Crusher, or the Demon Horn Bone Crusher combo is going to pretty much make it so you don't need, to, you don't need any prayer potions whatsoever. Anyways, uh, you need a Zamorak item for uh, getting kill count. I just bring the arrow because you're not even using that slot. And then ring, cape, and gloves for DPS. Uh, Tokar Call works very well. All right, and then you can use a Berserker ring and um, just anything like that. Uh, gloves, boots, all that stuff. Uh, you can bring Glavins, you can bring Bandos gloves. It doesn't really matter. And now for the lower leveled setup. So as always, feel free to copy down the action bar below here if you're using a two-handed weapon like the Bandos God Sword or maybe a Chaotic Maul. But anyways, you're going to want to bring um, a couple, just two or three super extreme sets. Um, four to six super restores. I go maybe on the lower end of that, so I go four. Uh, maybe five, because uh, Grador, he does drop super restore potions and there is the altar that you can recharge at once in a while. Um, other than that, uh, elk runes, again, I'd highly recommend bringing those. Uh, a couple of law runes for the teleport to get to the God Wars dungeon. Uh, two to three war tortoise pouches uh, just for, um, you know, restoring them uh, when they do run out. And then fill the rest with rock tail. Alright, now for the gear. Um, I have a Bandos God Sword here, which is my Bandos item. Uh, if you don't, then bring Bandos Boots, I think is the other cheapest uh, Bandos item other than the God Sword. Um, if you don't, if you do have a Chaotic, definitely bring the Chaotic instead and just bring Bandos Boots. Uh, Barrow's Melee Chest and Legs, um, as well as a Helmet. If you do have the Gano Visor, I would highly recommend that because it is five levels higher, so it does give better defense, and it gives melee defense, which is very helpful. All right, then you can bring the Penance Aura because you will be taking a lot more damage uh, with this lower leveled gear, and so this is going to help you restore even more prayer because you don't have the Demon Horn or Bone Crusher. All right, and then uh, for a necklace, just bring a Glory or a Fury or a Sarah Amulet. If you do have the Demon Horn, then by all means bring it. Um, Zamorak item, again, just the arrow. And then you're going to want a ring, cape, and gloves for defense. You're, you're wanting all-out defense for this method because you don't have the DPS to uh, soul split up to full health. 
Now, just in case you don't know how to get there, uh, then just go ahead and follow my lead, and I'm using the Trollheim Teleport. Um, if you don't have the Teleport and you need to run, then uh, you should know the way by then. But anyways, um, I'm just going to fast forward it here and follow my lead, and I'll get back to you when I'm down there. Now the fastest way to get kill count with melee is in the northeast corner of the Bandos room. You'll find a good pile of, uh, of spiritual warriors and rangers, and uh, these are going to be your best bet for fast kill count. Uh, Bandos still is the slowest kill count by far, uh, but anyways, you're just going to want to kill these spiritual rangers and uh, warriors until you have a 40 kill count. So once you do indeed have kill count, then just go ahead and find an open room, and once you do, then go ahead and uh, find your quick prayers, and uh, if you do have soul split, use that, along with turmoil, and uh, so then yeah, after that, you're just going to want to pot up, get your aura going, and hop in the room. Now it's melee, so it doesn't matter really where you stand, because you're only attacking uh, Grador, and uh, so yeah, now we'll get into some of the actual fighting mechanics. So first thing I should mention is that Grador can hit very high. With his melee attack, he can hit over 2400, and he has smacked me down many a times. Uh, so with that said, uh, you by bare minimum, you want to keep your health above 3000 at all times. Uh, just a combo from the Mage Minion and Grador, you can easily be dropped from uh, over 3000 health. So you just want to be wary of that. Use your Unicorn if you get too low on health. It's not going to hurt you that much. You might get a little slower kill, but it's going to save you, trust me. But anyways, other than that, um, you're going to want to use your destroy ability and your assault ability as much as you possibly can on Grador. It's going to make things so much easier. You're going to get a lot of DPS and don't go for ultimates. It's just not worth the effort. And one more thing I forgot to mention is that if you are a lower level and uh, you do have Bear's equipment and you don't have the Drygore, then you're going to want to pray, uh, pray melee and then use Piety or use Turmoil if you have it. Uh, because with, uh, without the Drygore, you're not going to be able to do enough DPS in order to uh, get efficient healing from Soul Split. So with that said, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this guide and thought it was helpful. And if you have any questions, just hit me, hit me up with a PM or comment or anything like that. And I hope you subscribe.